Hello friends, it's me. Today we're checking out some dumb people on the internet. I ordered a pepperoni pizza and you sent me just dough. There's nothing on it. Did this idiot open the pizza box upside down? Be like, oh no, where's the toppings? Oh no, uh, are you sure that's not the, uh, the breadsticks? No, it's not Flip your pizza. I'm not stupid. I mean, I can see. Who opens a pizza box are. upside this down? Is, like, this oh. is the pizza box. And there's no sauce, there's no cheese, and there's no pepperoni. It's just bread. And one hand on the bottom. Why are you making me do this? Just give me the refund. Give me the pizza right. that I ordered. Nah, Karen. Okay, so flip your hand. No up. refund today. Just, this is like a this magic so trick. Now open the pizza. I told. So. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Magic. Um. <laughs> now tell him how stupid you I'm are. I'm sorry. Uh, I at least really she apologized. Hangry, and I think I just got ahead of myself. It was upset. Are you sure it was just hangry and not just dumb? She's like walking on a sidewalk with a hose. I never let him know your next move. <laughs> she acted like it was such an inconvenience to step over it. No, you know what? I'm gonna pick it up and go under it. It's simply the only way. You know, I ain't taking no chances. We ain't tripping on a hose today. Start to come up, start to come up, start to come up. And look what we have here. An American flag stuck to your hair. Is it and now. Good? What in five minute crafts is this? You hydra dipped her hair? How's she gonna wash that out? Yes, it Can looks. Can I see a mirror? It looks. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, you like it? I love that. Nah, don't lie to her. Okay, well, let's get you dried up and taken care of. I How think much it's does really it good. Cost? You told me it costs money to ruin somebody's perfectly fine head of hair? Like, I have seen people hydra dip everything. But hair? Yeah, that's a lot of bleach. I really loaded it up. Oh no, don't tell me her hair gonna fall out. <gasps> what? No! This is a crime! Straight to jail. She bleached the life out of her hair. Went to bleach blonde. Her hair follicles, scalp, screaming in pain. You paid hundreds of dollars to get this professionally done at a salon. All to dye it dark again? Say it ain't so, and this was another day. I don't know why I'm so offended. Okay, a hole in the sock. I've seen this hack before where you just... When you sharpie it, but no... He tattooed it! Are you wearing the socks for the rest of your life? Is the hole always gonna be there? Modern problems call for modern solutions. You stick a filling in the hole with a sharpie every morning. Tattoo it, permanent. What year was the War of 1812? Oh, I don't know that. I wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> she was so sweet about it. She was like, oh, I don't know. I didn't pay attention to history class. Oh, I don't know that. I wasn't here. When was the War of 1812? What do you mean you don't know? I just literally said. Are you good at geography? Yeah, I'm a geography teacher, actually. A geography teacher? Okay. Well, it's your lucky day. So you must be an expert, right? Well, can you name me? Five countries, beginning with letter M. Moscow. Moscow. Mars. Oh. Mars. Malaysia. Malaysia, perfect. Madrid. Madrid, perfect. And one more. Mercury. Mercury, that's so good. <laughs> Are your students pretty smart? Yeah. <laughs> she is very confident in her abilities. Since when Mercury a country? I could just book a plane ticket and travel to Mars? So I'm trying to make a pancake. Mm-hmm. But it's not cooking. Um, well, did you try turning it on? Oh, you're supposed to put it in there. My guy, are you serious? What did you think it was a skillet? It literally has a handle where you pull it up. You know, maybe check these things. See if the surface is warm to put the pancake on. Like, y'all really don't be using your brain for real. It's lettuce wrap. French fries, but they're lettuce wrap. Makes it healthier, right? Onion rings, but it's lettuce wrap. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, it's a Diet Coke, but lettuce wrapped makes it even healthier, right? Don't make fun of me. I got to actually order things lettuce wrapped because I can't eat the bread. Customer states rear seat will not lock in the upright position. Okay, there's something clearly blocking it. You don't say. There's something in the way. Let's try that on for oh, size. Oh, there you I go. Really can't if it's not going to lock upright, there is something in the way. 
No, I did not just do that. <laughs> oh! Bro sauced himself up. What were you even squeezing the sauce on? Did they use limes? Better hope somebody hungry doesn't walk through that door thinking you a snack. I said to Ade, I want a cheeseburger with just cheese and onion. He f orders me this. I've never met someone more stupid in my life. Like, you just asked for cheese and onion. I'd be grateful they gave me bread. Sometimes you get exactly what you asked for. What's the capital of Europe? That's a trick question. Oh. Uh, London? Europe is a continent. I'm gonna let that slide. I don't need your social. Okay, do you want like my Instagram? Or I don't really have that many followers, but. The number, sir? Um, you already have my number. That's how you're talking to me. I don't. Understand. Do you do you want my Instagram, my Facebook? What do you mean? Your social security number. It's like when you put a number in a keypad. It's like pound one 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 one. Gen Z be like no, it's hashtag one 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 one. This was security camera footage at a wig store, and she tried to walk out with a wig, and you see the tag just hanging off her shoulder. She just grabbed it on her way out. Like no, uh uh. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to pay for it, even though it's on my head. Honest mistake. This is the dumbest conversation I've ever witnessed in my life. If you're not familiar, Lyme disease is a horrible disease. Basically destroys your immune system. You will never be able to live life the same. And here she is saying it's an intergalactic substance. I worked with a medical intuitive and she said every time she sees someone with Lyme, it's an intergalactic substance. And it's literally bringing in codes from the beginning of time. Yes, I believe this. This gives me chills yeah. down my entire body. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. I haven't heard it in those exact words before, but I'm often trying to say the exact same thing. Yeah. What that? Lyme disease is an intergalactic substance? Lyme is a gift. Yes, yes. It is not for the faint of heart. What? Lyme disease is a horrible disease. Imagine someone finding out they have cancer. And then we got this little podcast like, oh my god, be grateful for your cancer. It's, it's a gift. Are you stupid by any chance? This is the dumbest one. And it is for the most deeply spiritual people yes. on the planet. Yes. Oh, uh, imagine having Lyme disease and watching this. I Man, I can't even imagine what they would think. Yeah, I'm gonna go charge my crystals. Finishing two packets just to find out that they were doggy treats. Well, dang, those Scooby Snacks must slap for you to eat two packets. How do you not realize that you are eating a dog treat? I know they don't taste like human treats. I know they don't look like human treats. They're shaped like a dog bone. They got a dog on the cover. Last time I checked, there was no Hot Cheetos Scooby Snacks. When your husband burns your favorite kitchenware because he didn't check the oven first. Why would you put a cutting board in the oven? They're made of plastic. Plastic should never go in the oven. Yeah, I thought that was common sense, but common sense ain't too common these days. I am smart. Are you smart? I'm a hairstylist. <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your GPA? My GPA is at 3.98. 3.98, that's almost perfect. 3.79. Okay, they, they got some pretty high GPAs. They gotta be smart, right? First president. First president is George Washington. Yeah, George Washington. Second. Wow. Okay, you know what? Maybe they are smart. Second, oh, I don't know. George Bush. <laughs> no, don't. Second president. Wait, I never Abraham know. Lincoln. And that was the 16th, you wee wee. Who's the second president? I had to Google this one. John Adams. He don't get enough credit. Nobody cares about the second one. It's all about the first and the third. Does John Adams even have money? Is he even on any currency? Bro got no clout. And they put him on a $1 coin. <laughs> Why does he look like that? Bro built like a baked bean. So we roasting presidents now? Uh, yes we are. Am I the only one who thought this was pronounced as yuck yuck? <laughs> Goofy, you're gonna have to say that again for me. Yuck, yuck. Like the goofy laugh. The <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I know these things. I just see it and think about it for a hot second and be like, if you know, you know. Excellent. Uh, I think I need a new blender. Oh, yeah, I glemt to find a shade oh, in there. Yeah. There's the issue. You blended a spoon in your smoothie. How do you forget that? Sir, was it supposed to be part of the smoothie? This ain't a McFlurry, you don't put the spoon in spin. Why? You sacrificed the entire carton of eggs to save one. Ah! This ruined my day.
This kid was in class counting the amount of licks it takes to reach the center of a Tootsie Pop until he lost track of Oh, which hand it was on. Oh, he got it confused. No, honestly, honest mistake. I would do the same exact thing. Like you are writing and licking, writing and licking, writing and licking. Also, there is a more efficient way to do this. I'm gonna lick it like five times and then write a five. You don't have to go one, 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 one. That is super inefficient. There's a shape with four sides called. I don't know. I haven't had I haven't done something with shapes since like fifth grade. <laughs> what? A shape with four sides. A shape with four sides. You have this really cool thing inside your head called a brain. And like you could do so many cool things with it, but you just choose not to. A shape with four sides. Comment below if you're smarter than this guy. Honestly. Yeah, if you had a guess. If I had to I don't know. Like I don't I don't all right. Don't say I triangle. know what like what shapes have four sides, but I don't know the name for it. Yes. Then say it! A square! A rectangle! A quadrilateral! Y'all know these things. Can you name three countries besides the USA? Three Alabama. countries. That's one. New Mexico. Two. Countries! And Connecticut. Three. Countries! What country are you from? Connecticut! I'm Alabama man. What is one quarter plus two dimes? One quarter plus two. How much money is that? That's 65 cents. Is it 65 cents? Yes. Wow, somebody used their big brain. What is happening to the knowledge in this world? Where are everybody's brain cells running off to? I'm got a shortage of brain cells these days. Go on the swing, they said. It'll be fun. Um, these are one of those restaurants that instead of chairs, they have swings. And you know what happens when you swing a little too hard? Whether you're on a playground or a dining table. Do they trust people to just like control themselves? You're sitting on a swing, but you can't swing. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. Comment below the dumbest one. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click! And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Ow! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys!